good afternoon YouTube. Uh, Tony here from the All The Shop Coin Club. Um, today I went into the post office in All The Shop, asked them if they had any uh, 50p's for me. Uh, they didn't. I do apologise about the hands. As you can see, they're a little bit more mangled than they were before. Uh, as I've said before, they're not painful or anything. Um, I went into the post office, asked them if they had any 50p's. Um, they did do, but they were all shields. Um, she basically let me have a little look before I would do it. Um, I checked all of the bags that she had. There was no mule coins, any obvious errors or anything like that. So I basically turned around to her and said, have you got any two pound coins then instead? I don't typically normally hunt two pound coins. The reason being is that if you are into two pound coins, you'll know this, it can get fairly expensive collecting two pound coins fairly quickly. Um, I'm one of the people if I like a design on a coin, I will tend to keep it. So for that reason, I end up with a hell of a lot of two pound coins if I start collecting them. So I've been holding off doing 50 Ps. Um, I have had a little pre-scan of these bags. I'll be honest, I don't think there's anything in here. I think this might be empty coins that someone else has paid in. But what I did notice, as you can see, the first coin out of the gate is a 2015. I'm hunting a rotation error. I want a rotation error from a 2015. Because I know they're about, I've seen them. One of my friends has one. But any rotation error from a two pound coin, I think that's the next coin that I would like to find. I've never found one. I definitely would like to. Um, the woman said to me that this was what someone paid in to the bank, so there's a good chance there's no coins in here because they've probably taken them out. But we'll still go through. I would like to find a rotation error. All of these 2013s, 14s and 15s, like this one, 2015 Prime Rotation Territory, that one's fine. Um, they obviously had an issue with the striking for that year, but as you can see, that's, that's 2015 as well. These bags are full of 2015s. Um, so I might not necessarily find any commemorative in here. I'll just hunt through it and have a look. It's just a hundred pounds worth of two pound coins. This come out of the post office and all the shops, so it could be from anywhere. Like I said, the certain years that do have more rotation errors than others, so. 13, 14s and 15s, like that's a 15. Prime territory to check it. I have had good news from the coin club yesterday. My order for my 50p's has been fulfilled and shipped, which is good. Thank you very much for them for the efficient service of letting me know that they've shipped it, but Overall, it's a bit of a slow service, isn't it? Obviously, they've got a lot of orders to fulfill, I suppose. So. But I am grateful for them, and that will definitely be added to the book. I'll probably put my NIFC 50Ps at the back of my book, I'm thinking. And that's separate from my main ones. I have been editing these videos as quick as I can and uploading them online as quick as I can but in reality YouTube is very slow at uh, uploading videos. This bag looks like it's full of new coins or shiny ones. So let's do an edge inscription hunt, see if we can see anything. I think standing on the... Sh that one there doesn't look quite right in the middle. Standing on the shoulders of giants. This one here could be one. 
No, it doesn't. Why doesn't the edge on it look? It is. It's just it's not. It's a lot clearer than the others. What year is that? 2008. It's quite shiny for 2008. I've kind of worked backwards with this now, haven't I, with the edge and hunt. Um, as you've seen from the edge hunt, I don't think there's any in here, but uh, like I said, these are 2015s. That's a 2013. 2013 Another 2015 Another 2015 So the fact that there's a lot of 2015s in here does make me a bit suspicious Is that one out? Very slightly out on that one very, I mean, people would probably say it's not out, but the Queen is definitely sat slightly forward on that one. Just compare it to the previous one. This was a 2015 as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah you see the Queen sat back slightly on that one compared to that other one, so that's. A slight forward one but it's not as far as I'd like to see it I would like to see it all of the way this one's alright let's bang on that one's slight sat slightly forward that one that I just found it would be nice to get one where that's right. the queen sat all the way around uh, one of my one of my friends does have one of them he found the rotation error where it was kind of, I think it was in a, in a set of bags, you could see the coin beforehand was slightly off, then you had the 180 degree rotation of the queen and then you had another coin after it, all same year, all 2015s, uh, the coin after it was a slight back rotation, so it was almost like you could watch the die rotation as it's as it's happening through the coins that was in front of him. I did go and speak to Barclays and see if they had that one sat slightly forward. That's a 98, that's quite a weird one to have it set forward. Um, I did ask Barclays if they had any coins come in from their bullion rung. Um, and they haven't done as it's transpired. Uh, because the branch is closing, uh, Barclays is pulling back on the amount of cash that they're sending and the amount of deliveries that the, the branch is getting as a whole. None of these coins have looked fake or anything to me yet, and that quite surprises me out of the post office. I've had a hell of a lot of fake coins out there. I mean, even this is grimy, but it's not fake, the holograms there. Um, I've had quite a few fake coins out of the post office, I'll be honest. A lot of them are older, older years. That one just didn't quite look right around the edges. It's kind of half beaded and half not. <clears throat> I have one more bag. As I thought, there's not going to be much in here. I think whoever paid this lot, little lot in knew that there was nothing in here, potentially. The lady did say to me that this would come from a business pay-in, so I don't know. It could just could do, you know, just be random luck of the draw, but... Go this far through and not even see it. Oh, there you go. So there, is, there is one in there. Look at the state of him. Now, I check on these for cut errors on the top lines here and on the bottom lines here. Um, 
have found ones with extra material on before. This one it looks it looks okay apart from probably the two dots at the bottom, it's supposed to be three dots. So that is one coin. Charles Dickens. Rubbing us on him. <laughs> These are all coins that I found before. Um, oh, this this looks like it could be someone's paying. All the Dickens. Weird, all of all of the same coin as someone paid these back in or planting them. Mm. So we'll have to do some investigating. This looks like someone has found all of these coins or put put all of the non-commemoratives in the bags together and then put these in. So that is a 2014 Kitchener. And we check for the mule. No, it has the two pounds on it. And the right, the right portrait, so that's good. Um, I don't know what else is in here. Let's have a look. Ah. 1999 rugby. Yeah. This is obviously what someone has paid in. How have they all got the same coin? Two shots at a mule and neither. Check the uh, all over Europe. Just check the head inscription. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll check the other head inscription. Yeah, no, that one matches up. That last one was a, maybe a bit of a weak strike. Yeah. <clears throat> Another rugby. So this might be coins that someone's paid in for their business and they've kept the ones with pictures separate from the others, I don't know. Uh, World War Centenary. 1914-18-16. This is one of them new coins or relatively new coins that's been pushed out from the long store in the mint into circulation as they've been needed <coughs> so it reads there for king and country so that's the correct edge inscription this has to be probably one of my favorite queen portraits on any coin that you find in the uk uh, with the two pound up on the side and all of the Elizabeth Defender and all that gubbins underneath. I do like it and the design as well. I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, it looks like Tron helmets and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll give them that. But this is a, a very good coin for marking the centenary of a very serious part of world history, not just our history. Um, so there you go, there's another rugby. Like I said, I don't know what or who, whether they paid this in or whatever. They're certainly not my coins because I would never keep a coin like that in that colour, that's for certain. Um, so I've got a slight, maybe, rotation error there on that 2015. I will have to just sort of measure it up. There is a certain tolerance, if it's within that tolerance, then it's kind of good, basically. If, 
If it's not, then it's then it is a rotation error, but it, it gets uh, measured in degrees. Uh, whoever paid in this hundred pounds worth of two pound coins was obviously aware that all of these are fairly easy to get sometimes. Uh, granted, the, the kitcheners could be quite hard to get hold of sometimes. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little post office hunt for two pound coins because they didn't have anything else, to be honest. Um, I will upload this, so there's other videos that I'm in the midst of editing and uploading and all that sort of stuff, there's different stuff going on on YouTube with me uploading stuff. Um, the next hunt is probably going to be done in about a week's time maybe, depending on what I can get hold of. Um, I will push Barclays and I have done. Uh, for 50p's and they've told me that they are imminent they're they're due in this week actually so what i might do i might take this little lot and change it into barclays and see what they produce in 50p's if they do i'll film it if they don't they don't um the likelihood is i'll probably keep these two kitcheners uh maybe a charles dickens but the rest go into circulation the centenary might go to my daughter's mum because i owe her one uh believe it or not but yeah um stay safe take it easy and i'll upload another video as soon as i can uh i still haven't had any comments or anything like that uh if you are watching it and you want to leave a comment please feel free to do so uh there was a competition that i was going to run shortly but it runs on comments so <clears throat> for the co uh, for the competition to actually work i need the comments but um feel free to to like subscribe and all that sort of stuff um i will run a competition shortly but it'll have to be when there's more comments present on the videos and stuff um 50 p's next time hopefully if it's not it'll be another two pound uh hunt but I won't hold my hopes for any commonwealths or anything. I'm not doing it in a massive amount. Stay safe, take it easy, and look after yourself. Bye.